If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So this is the previous question paper of Junior by PC Botany question paper of 2015 and if you see here normally you have to know model paper normally there are three sections which will be given for you in the question paper and section A, section B and section C. Section A consists of 10 VSAQs, I mean very short answers and each of the question carries two marks so 10 into 2 is equal to 20. So coming to the section B, eight questions they will be given for you and within that eight questions you have to answer any six questions and each of the question carries four marks so 6 into 4 is equal to 24. Coming to the section section C, normally they will give you 3 questions, long answers and each of the question uh, carries two uh, carries 8 marks and you have, from the 3 questions you have to attempt at least 2 questions. So 2 into 8 is equal to 16 marks. So coming to this question paper in the 2015, define population and community. I mean in the VSAQs of section A. First one is different population and community, second one is what is geographic, third one is what is paleobotany, fourth one is give the main criteria used for the classification by Whittaker, fifth one is what is flora, sixth one is mention a single membrane bound organelle which is rich in hydrolytic enzymes. Coming to the seventh one, name the stages of meiosis in which actual reduction in chromosome number occurs, start cellulose, glycogen, chitin or polysaccharides found among the following and you have to write those. Uh, coming to the ninth one, differentiate between racemose and thymose inflorescence. Tenth one is different placentation. Coming to the section B, eight questions will be given for you, and you have and from that eight questions you have to write any six. So eleventh one is describe the essential organs of solanaceae. Twelfth one is what is heterospory. Thirteenth one is dinoflagellates. Fourteenth one is differences between asexual and sexual reproduction. Fifth one is water hydrophytes and Coming to the 16th one, location and function of different types of meristems. 17th one, structure of nucleus. 18th one, nucleic acid exhibits secondary structure and you have to justify it with the example. So coming to the section C, long answers. Define root modification, explain how root is modified to perform different functions. Write any six modifications. Right? And coming to the 28th question, describe the process of fertilization and angiosperms. 21st is tears of dicot stem. Transfer section, I mean that nothing but. So now let us see 2016 question paper. So this is 2016 question paper. Coming to the section A, who is popularly known as father of botany. Second one is define the term couplet and lead in taxonomic key. Third one is state two economical important uses of heterotrophic bacteria. Fourth one is which type of flower in cashew plant forms the false fruit. Fifth one is define mericarp. Sixth one is give the technical description of anthos of alien sapa. And seventh one is give an example of each of amino acids, sugars, nucleotides and fatty acids. Eighth one is what is middle lamella made of and give its functional significance. Ninth one is which of four chromatids of a bivalent heterophase one of meiosis can involve in crossover. Tenth one is define heliophytes and cyophytes. And in this way section B and section C. So see here properly. 8 questions will be given for you and you have to write 6 questions from them and in the section C you have to write 2 questions and they will give you 3 questions here. This is your 2017 question paper, uh, section A, so there is nothing to say about this, section A, normally 10 questions will be given, you have to write each of the question and each of the question carries 2 marks, so 10 into 2 is equal to 20 marks, coming to the section B and section C. So now I am going to give you important questions for first year by PC Botany important questions I mean if you see here I am going to give you short answers and long answers but in only in case of uh, VSAQs I mean very short answers only in some chapters I am going to give and if you want uh, more uh, more questions I mean for this VSAQs in all chapters then you can ping me WhatsApp so that I can give you and coming to this chapter 1. Uh, the living world, coming to the VSAQs, what does ICBN stands for, second one is defined metabolism, third one is largest botanical garden in the world, fourth one is what is the basic unit of classification, fifth one is scientific name of mango, sixth is what is growth and coming to the VSAQs, I mean short answer questions, 
first one is explain binomial nomenclature so only one question is uh, very much important and you have to read that and it is much and more than enough and long answers are not very much necessary in this first chapter coming to the second chapter by biological classification psqs phycobiont and mycobiont signified algal bloom and red tides signified coming to the third one ecologic sorry economical important uses of heterotrophic bacteria so these are the three vsqs which are very much important read this properly and come into the next one saqs i mean short answer questions first one is brief account of dinoflagellates and second one is characteristic features of giganoids and third one role of fungi in your daily life so long answers are not very much necessary in the second chapter so come into the third chapter science of plants in the botany so vsqs very short answer questions uh, how the term botany has emerged second one is name the books written by parasara third one is father of botany and what is the book name fourth one is who discovered cell and what is the book name fifth one is paleobotany and its uses sixth one is which group of plants is called amphibians of plant kingdom so these are the very short answers and come into the short answers scope of botany in relation to agriculture horticulture and medicine come into the second one scope of botany taking plant physiology come into the fourth chapter and long answers are not very much necessary in this third chapter so come into the fourth chapter plant kingdom We are set use. Name the stored food material found in Pheophyes and Rhodophyes. Come into the second one. Name the pigments responsible for brown color of Pheophyes and red color. And the question will be big. There is no space here to write, so I didn't write either. And if you open your textbook so that you can find the total question and read that question properly, it is very much important. Come into the third one. Mention the phloidy of any four, and that four will be given for you in the textbook. See that. And that question is very much important. And next fourth one. What are the first organism to colonize rocks and generic name of moss so fifth one is fern characters in cycas so coming to this essay gives i mean short answer questions differences between red algae and brown algae differences between liverworts and mosses third one is economic importance of algae and bryophytes fourth one is differences between monocots and dicots and if you come into the fifth chapter i mean i mean fourth chapter uh, like you are not very much necessary so there is no need to read them come into the fifth chapter morphology of flowering plants we are set use pulvanous leaf base venation which organ is modified to trap insects what is mean by epipetalous condition parthenocarpic fruits placentation what is the type of fruit found in mango eighth one is two plants having single seed or dry fruits ninth one what are the aggregate fruits coming to this essays explain different regions of the root with neat label diagram okay and normally in this fifth chapter each and every essay you are very much important but if if you see and from that this one question is very much important and normally uh, and normally what is the trick which should be applied in your examination question paper is that if they ask lqs uh, from the particular chapter then there will be no saqs which will be asked for you in the saq section but if they ask saqs in from the particular chapter then no lqs will be given in the particular chapter in your question paper so keep it keep it in mind so that you have to read so that what i am going to say here read fifth chapter short answers all okay and come into this lqs root modification stem modification and different types of resmos inflorescence see if you see here uh, these three questions lqs definitely one of the question will be arise from these three questions so read these three questions compulsory i am sure that from these three one of the question will be arise compulsory so if you read these three questions so eight marks will be in your hands if you write one of the question from these three coming to this chapter 6 modes of reproduction asexual justifies statement vegetative reproduction is also a type of asexual reproduction second one is differences between asexual and sexual reproduction so coming to this seventh chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants so if you wait wait if you see here uh, i didn't write an i didn't write asexual sorry vsqs very short answers so if you want vsqs for all chapters so come to whatsapp group join there and i will send these questions there so come into this chapter 7 sexual reproduction in flowering plants saqs and if you see a first one list three strategies that a bisexual chasmogamous flowers can evolve and the full question will be given in the textbook so read that question and next second one discuss the various types of pollen tube entry into ovary bagging technique and emasculation see bagging technique is very much important and next lqs see here two lqs has been given here fertilization in angiosperms and mature angiosperm embryo sac read these two questions if you read these two questions one of the question will be given in your question paper so that you can answer that and eight marks will be in your hands if you read these both questions so if you see here 
from this chapter i mean root modification stem modification different types of rhizomous inflorescence if you read these three question one of the question will be arranged and eight marks will be in your hands and if you see in this lqs fertilization angiosperms and mature angiosperm embryo sac if you read this two questions another eight marks will be in your hands so eight plus eight sixteen marks will be in your hands okay coming to this chapter eight taxonomy of angiosperms lqs i mean short answer questions explain floral formula and second one is economic importance of plants belonging to family s and third one is fine give yeah, sorry give an account of floral diagram and coming to the chapter 9 cell the unit of life and in this chapter 9 lqs are not very much necessary and describe cell theory what are plasmids named to organelles that are double membrane bound and what are the characteristics and total question will be in the textbook see there fourth one characteristics of prokaryotic cell and fifth one is cell is the basic unit of life so read all of these three so read all of these questions so definitely one of the question will be asked in your saqs so coming to the chapter 10 biomolecules saqs is rubber a primary or secondary metabolite second one is represent primary secondary tertiary structures of polymers using protein as a complex so coming to the chapter 11 cell cycle and cell division saqs in which phase of meiosis are the following formed so following if you see here first one is synaptonomal complex second one is recombination nodules third one is appearance or activation of an enzyme recombinase fourth one is termination of chiasmata fifth one is endokinesis sixth one is formation of dead of cells so based on this you have to write which phase of the meiosis uh, these belong okay coming to the second one do redundantly described as a resting phase interface does not really involve rest comment so read this question second one is very much important and next coming to the chapter 12 histology and anatomy of flowering plants so in these uh, very short answers you have to read them and saqs and lqs lqs are very much important from this lesson so from this lesson uh, from, I, i have given here three questions i mean normally there are four questions but the third fourth question i combined in the third question itself if you see there tiers of dicot stem tiers of monocot stem and internal structure of dicot and monocot root so if you read this question one one of the question will be raised compulsory in your examinations and so that you can answer them and next uh, there are major chances that they will ask two questions two lqs from this chapter only from the chapter 12 only okay so be careful you have to read each and every long answer i have, I have which i have given here okay coming to this saq state the location and function of different types of male stems second one is a transverse section of trunk of a tree shows concentric rings and how are the rings formed third one is name the three basic tissue systems in flowering plants lq tiers of a dicot stem tiers of a monocot stem internal structure of dicot root and monocot root so if you read these four questions one of the question will be raised compulsory and in some cases if they want to ask question paper in a tough in a tough way then they will ask two questions from this chapter only from a single chapter only okay coming to the last chapter chapter 13 econo- ecological adaptations succession and ecological services coming to the saqs what are hydrophytes and types morphological adaptations of hydrophytes anatomical adaptations of hydrophytes classification of xerophytes morphological and anatomical adaptations in xerophytes plant succession and define ecosystem or ecological services so hydrophytes and xerophytes the uh, i will going to explain you it uh, in next video and a link will be given in the description box uh, after i upload the video and next if you see here uh, for, for getting to pass is very much easy if you read the long answers which i have said you know see here these are the four long answers in the chapter 12 tiers of dicot stem tiers of monocot stem and internal structure of dicot root and monocot root if you read these four questions uh, one of the question will be raised compulsory in your examination and if the question paper will be asked it off then the two questions will be erased from the same chapter of this chapter 12 itself okay so read these four questions so four questions and next and next lq if you see in the chapter 7 fertilization in angiosperms mature angiosperm embryo sac if you read these two questions one of the question will be raised compulsory so four at plus two totally six questions and next three questions from the chapter five root modification stem modification and different types of rhizomous inflorescence so three plus two plus and there four how much all of, if you read all of this all of these questions then it will be easy for you if you read uh, one of the question daily then it is more than enough 
you can get passed easily and if you answer very short answers questions properly then you can get easily passed so if you need very short answer questions for all the chapter important very short questions for all the chapters then you can join the whatsapp group and the invite link will be given in the description box so join us in the whatsapp group through that link which will which is given in the description box so you can so that i will give you question paper model and as well as the question important questions thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box thank you